Welcome back everyone, my name is Echo and I hope you're having a great day and I hope you guys have been enjoying the Minecraft 1.16 update. Today in this Minecraft video, I'm going to be showing you how to find netherite in Minecraft, how to find ancient debris. So this is now the go-to material, it's better than diamond. How long have you played Minecraft and diamond's been the god tier? Well, things have definitely changed. Now, before we get into this, there is no right or wrong way to find netherite. If it works for you, then stick to it. I'm just going to be showing you guys around about five or six different methods on how to actually find it. It's kind of up to you to decide which one you prefer. So, you may have seen a couple of the YouTubers make videos like this. I just thought I would make a very similar video for my subscribers. If you guys do find this interesting and it does help you, please be sure to hit that like button. I want to mention that I'm in a copy of my Minecraft Underground Survival World uh, because I have been using these methods myself and I want to show you guys how efficient they are. Now, I've been playing around with this update not too long, but I've already managed to get myself um, two. I've got two netherite ingots, which is eight debris. Now, I've used one on my pickaxe and I've caught it silky smooth. Another one I have back in my uh, main chest. First thing is, guys, you are going to need either netherite or diamond before you can even consider starting this. It's not like early game features. It says, as it says on the wiki, ancient debris can only be mined by diamond or netherite. So you're going to need a diamond pick or you're going to need a netherite one. Again, if you're watching this video, you're probably quite geared. You probably have a couple of pickaxes. You probably killed the ender dragon, the wither, etc. Talking about the wither, you'll see in today's video. So the first thing I want to mention is that Ancient Debris attempts to generate from levels 8 to 22. Although, from my experience, the best levels is level 14 to level 15. Those two seem to be the best to start at. I've seen a couple of people tweet me some pictures and they were mining at Bedrock. Although that might work for them, it's probably not the most smartest method because you are missing out on a lot of Debris. Of course, you can't break Bedrock, so there's nothing below it. Uh, you're kind of wasting your resources. So, we'll get straight into the first one. First thing is, guys, make sure you've got yourself fire resistance, right? So, if you're going to be doing any form of anything inside the nether, you should always have yourself some fire resistance. And the reason behind this is because when you are doing this, you are going to uncover lava lakes. You are going to uncover uh, lava, non-stop lava. Here is a prime example of me exploding as one of the examples on how to find it. But it's not, it's not the only method. So, if you like to strip mine, because I know a lot of people like to strip mine for either uh, diamonds or their materials in general, this is the same with, with netherite. Now, we're at level 14 here, right? Uh, if you have a really good pick, you're going to be able to plow through netherite really, really fast anyway, right? So, the case when it comes to strip mining, which is the first method in today's video, it is literally just the case of mining in straight lines. You're not just going to find... The likes of your ancient debris for the netherite, you're going to find gold. You are going to find yourself uh, quartz as well, which I find incredibly useful. But to maximize the actual loot that you can obtain, the best way to do strip mining is try not to go too far, but then you're going to go over by two. Three, should I say. And that is because when you're through here, you can see that wall and you can see that wall. There is no point doing it this one because this one would show this wall as well. So if you go over by two, it's the same for diamonds. You're then maximizing how much you can find. Now what I am going to do here is I'm going to mine this until I actually find netherite. Okay, and it took me, let me just go back real quick, I think it was three parts of strip mining. Now, this is good, this is a great method. It took me one, two, three, on the fourth one we were able to find it. It's not too bad at all, to be totally honest with you. It can be a lot shorter, it can be a lot faster, but we did manage to find ourselves some nether right there. Now, this one has generated in a uh, lonely, it's on its own. And we're just going to quickly get to the end of this because there's a reason why I want to show you this because the generations of this is slightly different when it comes to grabbing this uh, compared to diamond. And that explains why Ancient Debris is now the new god tier because it's really not as simple as just getting one and getting one ingot 
as you guys know, you need four and four gold before you consider turning it into an ingot. So from my experience, and I'm doing this on Bedrock, I think it's slightly different on Java in terms of generation. On Bedrock, I am saying a good 95% I see them spawn in just one. In some cases, you can see them spawn in two. I believe there is a case where it can spawn in three as well. And if I remember on the wiki page, it can spawn from one to three. I find that happening more on Java. I've done a lot of mining and I've only ever found it in these ones. As you guys know, if you're playing uh, and mining for diamonds, you can get these in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, if you are lucky enough. Again, making this material the god tier material. So the upside to just strip mining, standard strip mining, is of course, you're not causing mass explosions in your world. Not everybody likes to ruin the terrain in their world, and I understand why people would like to strip mine. If you're doing it, stick to level 14 and 15. Um, the downside is you are going to take down the durability quite a lot. So my recommendations for any pick, it doesn't have to be uh, Silky Smooth or Silk Touch, it can be Fortune, is to have uh, unbreaking, mending, and efficiency. You do not need to have Fortune. Fortune makes absolutely no difference with the Ancient Debris. Okay, so number two. Now this comes in two forms. The first form it comes in is the form of TNT. Now in Bedrock 1.16, I believe Creeper Farms should work a lot easier with the spawning and despawning. So getting gunpowder isn't too difficult, getting sand is incredibly easy. That also being said, there is a different method to this madness, which we will get into. Now, if you're on Java Edition, getting gunpowder is incredibly easy. This is as simple as what I'm trying to tell you guys is causing explosions. Exactly like I've already started to show you guys down here. Although I didn't use this method, but I will use this method and show you guys that TNT mining, it's, it's a fan favorite. It's one of my favorites and it's just really, really fun to do. Again, it does require you to get quite a bit of materials, a little bit more expensive compared to other methods. Okay, so it's just as simple as making gaps and blowing up TNT. I tend to use the TNT from a space of one gap or two gaps or sometimes three gaps. Uh, but if you've got plenty of TNT and you're not worried about spending it, it's as simple as just having, placing them wherever you want. We might even find some ancient debris while doing this mine and I'm just going to put that there. Yeah, probably not the smartest thing to do. Let's just keep spreading this out and then let's light the TNT. So let's put, I'm just going to do them every other one for the sake of today's video, just to maximize explosions. Again, the bigger the explosions, the better it's going to be. And you're probably wondering, why am I using TNT? Well, the ancient debris is blast resistant and fire resistant. So you're, you're not going to have to worry about losing it or anything like that. Let's just quickly place all of these down. Uh, all right, we'll place it to there. If this doesn't produce a debris, then I'm going to be very disappointed. Uh, but stand back and be very, very cautious. Because this will cause some big explosions. And that one didn't. Why did that one not cause an explosion? Let's just quickly light up a couple more down there. There we go. That's a little bit better. Whoa. The good thing about TNT is it's usually consecutive. And usually the explosion radius is quite even. What you are going to have to do here, though, is you are going to have to get rid of the lava. That's the only downside to this. But this is a lot better than another method. I'd rather only deal with lava than having to deal with lava and fire. But let's just quickly clear this out and see if we found anything. So we only managed to use 24 TNT. Now, we were standing over here. Um, this, once the lava is gone, has uncovered a couple of debris. So if we just go down here, I see one right there. And I actually seen one at the back. Now let's see if this is generated in a group of one or just a group of two. It's a group of one. Again, typically I'm finding it on bedrock in groups of ones. Not necessarily groups of twos. But the cool thing about TNT is, like I said, the explosions are more consistent. Compared to the next method I'm about to show you. And I do have another one right here. This one's at level seven. So yeah, that's why I recommend 14 is the best. Because 14 then goes to, if it's 7 above, which the explosion radius is like 21, it says the max level is usually uh, 8 to 22, I think it is. I think I said. Uh, and we're like level 5 down here as well. So yeah, that was, uh, <laughs> thankfully we did that in today's video. Alright, so that's method number 2. At this, when you're doing TNT mining, I recommend sticking to level 14. Just a friendly reminder, while you're doing this, keep topping up on your fire resistance. So, first method is just simple strip mining. Again, it works. 
you're just gonna have to take a hit on your pickaxe. The second method is TNT. I feel like this is more consecutive. This is probably my preferred method, but at the moment, I'm currently doing this method, and this is beds, because as you guys know, if you try and sleep in a bed inside the nether, it causes explosions. This is a positive and a negative side. Number one, it's really cheap to, to, to do, but number two is, along with lava, this causes fire, so you're having to knock out the fire as well as lava. Again, it's not too much of, a, of an inconvenience. I mean, it's more of an inconvenience than it is too much of a of a downside, uh, but it's all just done with beds. It's as simple as placing down a bed and just trying to sleep inside of a bed. So again, I recommend sticking to level 14 or 15 while doing this, but let's go and do it. So just like before, just like with TNT, just start yourself a little bit of a mine at level 14, level 15, and just keep mining until you feel like you've mined enough, and then you can start placing down a couple of beds. Like I said, this has a little bit of a positive and a negative. Uh, with this, make sure you have good armor. Now, at the moment, you probably notice I have gold boots. That's because while I'm doing this, piglins seem to attack me. So I usually have uh, gold boots on, because gold is boots are a little bit cheaper to make compared to a helmet. Uh, but it's simple as just placing down your bed. Tempted to sleep in it. Okay, that was not planned. <laughs> uh, uh, two of them. That is it. Three of them. Hand on my heart that that was not planned whatsoever. I had no idea that was going to happen. Uh, but yeah, I was going to say the downside to this. There's no downside in this one. Is that you have to deal with lava and fire. In this instance, we are not dealing with lava and we are not dealing with... Well, we're dealing with fire, but we're not dealing with lava at all. Honestly... I am shocked. I mean, I've done a lot of TNT mining inside of this world and bed mining and stuff, and I've never, ever, ever found three of these together like this. Well, I'll take that. Um, <laughs> so, one, two, and three. In the sake of today's video, we found six debris. It's, we're close to two ingots. And that's just really, really, like, we haven't been doing this long. But again, it's just a case of doing this. Just be very, very careful with the blast radius because you will take damage with this. Again, you're going to, I recommend having decent armor. Uh, but I usually do a bunch of consecutive explosions. And then I go back and just clean out what I've done. Dude, there's stuff everywhere. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Let's get rid of this. I also want to mention, guys, uh, I think it's basalt. Basalt reduces the blast explosions from what I understand. So... Yeah, be careful with that. Let's just see what if we've uncovered another one. Again, these are more of an inconvenience than anything else. Having to deal with just getting rid of the lava I itself. Uh, but we'll clean up and we'll see if we found anything. So again, I don't think we've been as lucky this time compared to the last time. But bed explosions seem to be probably everyone's go-to method at this moment. Unless you've had a working creeper farm on bedrock. I think everyone's go-to method has been beds because... Well, mob spawning up until now has been very few and far between. Uh, but uh, not this time. I don't think we've been lucky enough. See, like I, when I say in, like it's it's inconsistent, what I mean by that is the explosions for TNT, they were very, very similar. Like this one's just, I don't know, very hit and miss in terms of the spread. Maybe it's down to the blackstone. I'm not sure how blast resistant blackstone is. I'm guessing Axe is very, very same as uh, its counterpart being cobblestone. But uh, unfortunately, this happens like on, a, on, on cases. You will not get anything at all. Ah, uh, you will uncover quartz and you will uncover gold. So I think regardless of what method you're using, it's going to be a win-win. So yeah, probably the cheapest and the most effective way is probably beds. Uh, my preferred method would be TNT over beds. But it works and I've been using it in my survival world. And for the sake of today's video, we've already found six ancient debris. So, these next methods, I mean, I don't re recommend them, but if you like to live the high life, then this is definitely going to be for you. The first one is going to be end crystals and obsidian. You need obsidian before you can place down these. Uh, most Minecraft players have these items, but if you're wanting to do blast radiuses, you can use end crystals. If you have expensive taste, this is going to be for you. So, with this one, I think you're going to have to mine, like, I promise you guys this isn't planned. What is going on? So, yeah, it seems that ancient debris are, in they're quite common, guys, don't get me wrong, they're quite easy to find. I think it's more of just a kind time-consuming thing rather than it taking forever. Regardless, I wasn't meant to find them probably anyway, but this is the strip miner method being in full effect once again. Um, you're probably going to have to go up by three. That is because when you place down one of these, I think you're going to have to have a little bit of a space for this. 
With this one though, it's as simple as being able to stand back and just blowing it up like this. Do you see what I mean? It, it works the same way. Um, I think the blast radius seems to be slightly better as well. I mean, it's the high life, right? Expensive taste. This is definitely for you guys. Just trying to see if we can find it. Try and uncover one. Seems like we've hit a hit a cave here. I think after finding those debris, I'll be very lucky if I find any more in in this in this area. Oh, I actually missed it. Okay, I'm just gonna place down one more. I'm gonna stand back and then we'll see if we found any. But yeah, if you really like to use end crystals, well, I guess this is gonna be for you. <laughs> there you go. Oh, and there's another one. So yeah, we're not we're not having any issues when it comes to finding them. Expensive, and I'm using this to tower up. But yeah, like I said, there's there's many many methods behind this madness. Did I pick that up? Ten? Is that ten? Ten? Ten in today's video already? That's two ingots. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. And Thirteen. This is my underground world, so there's no way I could fake this because <laughs> there's no way I could fake it. You guys have downloads of my worlds. Twelve. Is that right? Twelve of them. Plus, you're going to get your obsidian back as well. Dude, there is definitely going to be more down there. So last but not least, the craziest one. If you have a death wish, this is for you. It is spawn yourself a wither. Withers causes explosions. Don't recommend doing this unless you have a lot of potions. Don't recommend doing this unless you're with your friends and there's multiple ones of you that can take this down. But you could use yourself a wither. And straight away, he's uncovered. How many is he uncovered there? Dude, in today's video, we have one, two, come on with us, slow down, man, all right? I get it, you like me. This is not gonna go anywhere. There's another one, there's another one over here. I can't even cope with these withers, man. <laughs> but yeah, like this is, I'm not gonna say it's technically suicide because if there's a lot of you, just make sure you have fire resistance and stuff like that. You should technically be okay. But uh, try and do a little bit of traveling away from it, you know? Like, it's gonna cause explosions. We know that. Let's just quickly, like, tower up a little bit. So I can just, like, go over here. Uh, but yeah, that's my methodology behind finding them. And in today's video, we found 15. So, that's quite a few ingots. If you ask me, it's definitely... Be careful. <laughs> Be incredibly careful. Because these things won't mess around. Uh, but I hope today's video has helped you guys. If it has, please be sure to hit that like button. Let me know which method you are more than likely going to use. If you use the wither, I reckon you're crazy. But yeah, have a great day. Enjoy the netherite, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.